Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first part of Let's Play The Sims 4. So I actually recorded this before and I rambled so much. So I'm, I'm going to try not to this time, but I probably will again. It's fine. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amber. Welcome to my channel. I play a lot of Sims, though I am um, trying to expand, but we'll get into that later, obviously, uh, when I expand into different types of games, things like that. If you aren't new, aren't you guys so excited for this Let's Play? I've been trying to play The Sims 4 for such a long time, but my old recording software did not support it. But this one should. <laughs> I paid money for this, so this should work. Um, this is the recording software I was trying out last week that you guys saw that had the watermark because I was making sure I liked it before I actually paid for it. Um, and I did check and it does work with The Sims 4. It doesn't lag, at least not like the OBS one did, so... Hopefully this is all good. Um, so, I'm literally so excited for this. I couldn't even sleep last night because I wanted to get up and record this video. I know that makes me sound like such a big nerd, but it was, I'm so excited. Um, so if you guys don't know what this series is, this is going to be like you guys choose or change the story. Like I don't really know how to like advertise it because I'll get into how it works in a minute, but first I actually want to introduce you guys to the characters. So first we have Gracie. So Gracie is the oldest of three children. She honestly, she looks like the girl from The Incredibles, the one that like Mrs. Incredible thought that, is it Bob? Is his name Bob? Is his name Bob? Okay, I don't know. She thought that Mr. Incredible was cheating on her with, she looks like the girl who works with Syndrome. That's what she looks like. Anyways, oh, and this sim originally, Emma, she came from the gallery. So if you go onto my gallery page, you should see like the house, the sim that I like that like she's um, based off of their brother's wife, uh, her like base, everything like that should be um, favorited on my page in the gallery. Anyway, so Gracie, her kind of lifetime wish is to be Mansion Baron. And it's not that she doesn't want to work for this herself. It's that, you know, her whole life she didn't really have that much. Like, as you can see, this house is kind of small. They have, like, no money. Um, she understands how hard it is to be successful and to have a lot of money if you don't already have it. So, basically, she's decided that the only way to get what she wants, which is, you know, a lot of money and being very successful, is to marry rich. However... She also is kind of a hopeless romantic, and she she very much wants a family. Um, and so, who knows? I, I don't know if she'll get that from the same place. Will she, you know, marry a rich man and fall in love with him, and he will, you know, provide children for her and everything that she, that she wants in her life? Or, or will she have to look elsewhere for love and for, you know, starting a family? Will her rich husband actually, like be okay with that or does he just want her as a trophy wife so i guess we'll have to see as the story unfolds um so they actually so she's the oldest then they have a brother who's in the middle and his name is adam and i'll show you him oh i guess i should show you her traits first so she is materialistic she is romantic she is a snob and she's business savvy so you can see here is that like underlying romantic thing she's she's very much once like a romance and you know all of that stuff that goes with it but she just kind of thinks it's a little unrealistic but maybe this is just the front she's putting on maybe she secretly deep down would rather have no money and be you know happy with a family we'll have to just see so they have a brother named adam he is actually married to this woman lacy they have a son called wyatt um, and I don't really have them worked into the story too much, but if you guys would like to see them more incorporated in this Let's Play, I totally can. Um, or I think it would be kind of funny if, like, all this drama is happening with these two, and then, like, they have, like, a brother who's, like, got this, like, cute little amazing family happening on the side. Or we can cause drama for them, too. I mean, it's all up to you guys. Um, so then we have Emma, and Emma is the baby of the family. Ignore this. I have the aging off, because I don't like that they made her older. So Emma is more of like a jokester. She really likes to pull pranks on people. She's very childish. Um, if I had to give them real life ages, Gracie would be like 26 or 27, Adam would be like 22 or 23, and Emma would be 18. So she is just like a newly adult. She's kind of like, you know, a kid. She has braces, you know, she, 
she's really, you know, she's just starting to explore her life and, and she just, you know, moved out to live with her sister. Um, and if we want, like, drama that includes, like, parents that they could possibly have, I can do that in the future. I can, you know, make their parents and add them into the town and cause a lot of drama with that if you guys, if that's what you guys so wish. Um, so I think that Gracie doesn't really take Emma that seriously. Um, you know, Gracie like knows what she wants and she's going to go for it. She is going to get a job. You know, she wants to be successful. She wants to have, you know, some sort of responsibility, but she's not really super entirely sure, um, you know, when she's going to meet a rich man. So she has to provide for the family until then. Um, let me know what kind of job you think that she would be in. I was thinking like maybe like a style influencer or like a critic like maybe like an art critic or something, but let me know what you guys think. So Emma, I don't know if she'll have a job. She seems like she, you know, not that she's like living off of her sister, but I feel like she just doesn't know what she wants to do yet. She like has no idea where to even start. Um, and she is bisexual, Emma is. So Emma is, you know, she's she just loves everyone. She's, you know, super nice, even though she is a prankster. She thinks she's so funny. But I think that she would definitely be like, more adventurous than Gracie and she would be like more likely to like go out and party um when Gracie would want to stay home and like you know take care of the family so I guess we'll just have to get into that I'll show you around their little house real fast so <laughs> it's not much at all it's just a starting house so they have like this little um living room area that has the tiniest tv that they could afford except for like the penguin one they have this little kitchen um, that only has two chairs because really they're the only people living here now. And this will all change throughout the series. So, you know, they'll be moving or, or you know, things like that, switching up the house, building on all of that once they get more money. This is just a little bathroom. Over here, we see Gracie's room. It's very um, mature. It's got, you know, like the brown and the red theme. That's That's usually, when I think of like adult bedrooms, this is the style I think of. And then over here we have Emma's room. And of course, Emma, like I said, she's just like a new adult. She's barely out of high school. Um, so she still has like her, her little like girly, cute teenager -y style room. I think it's just adorable. Gaba, Gaba, Their brother <laughs> lives like, ne not like next door, but he lives rather close. Um, I, I guess I could take you into Managed Worlds. Uh, and just show you where he lives. He he does live in this town, so obviously they are, you know, very, very close. He lives uh, right over here with Lacey and Wyatt, so it's not super far away, maybe like a couple minutes of a car drive, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually going to now get into how this, I guess, the storyline, the progression of the story and everything works but actually i wanted to ask your guys' opinion on something do you guys want this to be like a seasons thing like you know how like um on like drama tv shows sorry if i'm saying like a lot I'm, i haven't i haven't scripted this so i i don't know what i'm gonna say before it comes out of my mouth on drama tv shows they have seasons so like season one will have episodes one through 20 and then season two will have episodes one through 20 do you want it to be like that or do you want it to be more of a just continuous series until we reach the end of the story which i have no idea when the end of the story is going to be at all so this could go on for a while so just let me know what you guys think about that okay so now i'm going to get into like how the story is going to work and um how the like the rules for keeping order in this whole thing so basically if you've ever done a choose your own adventure book there's an underlying plot and then the decisions you make affect how the story plays out. That is essentially what we're doing here. I have an underlying plot that I really like, um, but of course, you guys, this is all about you and your decisions. So if you guys propose plot points, that actually will change and impact the background plot that's happening. So for example, if I want Gracie to steal a dog from someone, from her neighbor, and then one of you says, I want Gracie to make an enemy and get beat up. Maybe she steals the dog from someone and that person becomes her enemy and then beats her up in front of everyone. You know, so it, the plot line happens, but things change based on how, because maybe originally she was not going to get caught, but now she did. So it just changes how 
you um, how we progress the story and it could totally change the ending like the ending I have in mind could be like completely wiped out for something else all of the ideas I have could be completely wiped out based on you guys your guys's creativity and what you guys would like to see I did want to have a little bit of a background plot though um, to keep the story going because I don't want you guys to not watch it because you already know everything that's gonna happen there will still be surprises there will still be things that you guys won't see coming there will still be plot twists after all this is a drama series so let's get into the rules and if I if I can figure out the editing software I'm using which is highly unlikely but if I can um, then I will try and put them on the screen the rules <laughs> okay so rule one basically you come up with an idea so you go down to the comments and you see if anyone else has a similar or the same idea as you if not comment your idea and what I mean by idea is don't try to make like the plot for the whole let's play in one comment so I don't want you to say like I want Gracie to meet this man and then she gets married and then they get a divorce and then she finds out she's pregnant like don't like plan that far in advance I want little idea plot lines that can be used within one or two episodes so something like I want this sim to die causing issues within the family or I want this sims husband to cheat with a neighbor and then she ends up pregnant things like that so if you go down to the comments and someone does have an idea that you like or your idea has already been commented like their comment to boost it the most liked comments and ideas will drive the story along of course every comment has the chance to be to be a part of the story but if multiple people say that they like the idea that one is going to be more likely to enter than one that only has like that has no likes if you know what i mean so another thing is I have the right to not include an idea if I don't feel comfortable or if I don't feel like I would do it justice um, and or if I feel like I can't play it like if no mods or packs that I have would allow me to do that if that makes sense so I also have the right to edit or change plot points if I think something else will be more fun or easier to have it happen but it will still be similar and ultimately this entire like series is going to be based off of your ideas it's just that i might have to change things a little bit based on what the game will allow me to do or how i would portray something or making it just a little bit more dramatic so there could be a, t a twist on your ideas something that you didn't expect to happen um and when i say idea i i mean anything you can come up with an idea for anything babies marriages cheating death drama murder anything is free game anything and i'm totally down to add mods into my game for certain story aspects so if you guys want like alcohol or teen pregnancy along the line i am totally down for installing mods to have that happen so i'm sorry that this part was rambly and that it, this is all just an introduction if you're not into it Feel free to, you know, skip on down the line if you don't want to contribute, although you should because I'm so excited to see the ideas you guys come up with. Um, make sure to subscribe down below so you can see the next time I upload a part of this so you can see your guys' ideas, getting the story rolling, seeing where it's going to go. Um, also, like this video. If you like this video and it ends up getting more views, that's more possible plot lines that we could add into the story. Um, I want as many people to contribute ideas to this as possible so I want it to be like one of those like cliche drama movies that everyone loves I want this to turn into like honestly like the most dramatic thing you can ever think of in your life um, <laughs> so I'm I'm really excited um, but yeah these two are just you know talking on the couch this isn't really a playing episode at all I don't even know what they're talking about, but I mean any any sort of drama, babies, um, drama with their parents, drama with their brother, maybe they find out that they have another mystery sibling, I don't know, all of it's free game, let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you guys, oh, actually, wait, wait, I forgot, I have a thing that I needed to talk about, um, if you guys want to make sims to add into this town, because I need them, uh, feel free to make them or suggest them down below like um, pitch your idea for a sim to add into the town down below um, If you are gonna upload them to the gallery, excuse me, maybe do like a hashtag like hashtag Amber K Sims or something. I'll put it on the screen Just so like you guys have a place to put it where I can find it So yeah, if you guys want to add sims into this town, they can be their friends They can be their enemies their baby daddies you know, maybe maybe they do have a mystery sibling. I don't know. I didn't even think about that till just now. So, but yeah. So, 
I, I guess I'm, I'm done rambling. Um, give me your ideas down below and let's get this plot rolling, you guys. I cannot wait and I will see you guys in next week's episode. Bye, guys.